Glenn director Janet Cavandi is retiring at the end of this month after a 25 year career. Betsy Kling has talked with her and even featured her in a girls in STEM segment. And as Betsy found, Cavandi has always been over the moon, if you will, excited about NASA, starting with her decision to be an astronaut. So uh, was it scary to, to put that application? In? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, I don't know if it was scary, but it's kind of like, if you don't try it, it, you can't ever become it. So it's like if you don't buy the lottery ticket, you can never win. But Cavandi did win. She was selected to be an astronaut in December of 1994. She completed three space shuttle missions and logged more than 33 days in space. And I'll never forget how excited she was when I asked her what it was like going up in the shuttle. You know, when you're sitting there on the pad and you're sitting like this and you're looking up at the sky and you're going, I cannot believe I'm here. And then the engine's light and you feel the vibration and then and then the lift off and you're like, oh, I can't, I'm actually going to space. This is what I've been waiting for my whole life and, and here we go. I remember the tears coming down and they, you know, because they were right into my ears and I thought that was <laughs> so weird, but it wasn't because I was afraid. It was just like, I couldn't believe it was actually happening. Cavani's work on the shuttle landed her into the Astronauts Hall of Fame this past April. She calls the decision to end her NASA career difficult, but she's proud of the work being done here to send the first woman and next man to the moon, as well as the work to develop new aircraft technologies. We we're right there in front and, and leading the, the world in those kinds of the research and development. It's a really exciting time for Glenn. 